Hello guys, welcome to the iMac G5 modding project part three. Well, let's just skip all over the first two parts because those were crap in the abandoned project. Now let's see what it looks like right now and then what, it, what I'm up to with this whole thing. So let's go. So currently the iMac G5 well, it is not really a whole lot of G5 left, to be honest, um, is here. And as you might know, I hot glued this monitor in place. Really, ironically, the, this monitor here has already a problem, while the iMac G5 monitor, which is known to have problems, mine doesn't have a problem. So I'm happy to just get rid of this, just throw it away, it's junk. And here's the other half. And I will reinstall the original display in here. <laughs> and yeah, we'll go to this original display momentarily. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm at this point not really sure if I'm going to make this into a monitor only and just leave it at this. Or if I'm really going to make a iMac G5 like Intel or whatever with a MacBook motherboard or something similar. But well, let's get it working as a monitor and then worry about it. So what is going on here? This is the original LG Philips uh, panel from the iMac G5. And as I said, it didn't have a problem. At least the last time I powered it on, it didn't have a problem. And that was what now, two years ago? Well, maybe not that long, but pretty long. So hopefully it didn't develop some other issues in the meantime, but the panel should be fine. So uh, I found this controller board, which there were only two available on eBay, but there were. I typed in the serial number and it came with this uh, controller board and it plugs in. This is the power here plugs right in. Hopefully I did that right because they're so similar connectors, but I think they're good. This also plugs in. So that also worked. And here we have this, uh, well, these, these buttons, which can adjust certain things, I suppose. I don't know what that does, to be honest with you. With that said, we still need an external power supply, which I welcome greatly, gladly, because uh, I can then move this brick out of the machine and not worry about it not having a space in there. So I uh, have here this power supply, which is adjustable. It's currently set to 18 volts. I don't know if that is enough to power this whole thing. Um, but if not, I will crank it up. So, so to try out this whole thing, I have here this IBM and we'll plug in that computer into the VGA port and see if this will show me a picture. And if it does, I'm going to be happy. If not, I uh, don't know. Okay, this is sketchy, but it's only a test setup. I mean, if you're new to this channel, guys, this is a normal I hear anyway. So here I have the controller board. The whole, the power stuff is hooked up, hopefully right. Um, connection is here. We have here then all those buttons, which we'll try out. This also has a remote, crazy stuff. Um, so then I will plug in here the power. Okay. And now we see here an LED, which lights up. That's good. Um, so. Oh my God, the screen is on. No signal. What? <laughs> Look at that. So the power, the power works. That's good. That's good. That's good. Man, I'm so hyped right now. This is only a monitor, I know, but I'm so hyped right now. What do all of those do? Here it says power. Okay, so that turns it on and off. You can see. Look at that. Pretty cool. There it is, back on. As you can see, the monitor is spotless. And it just said, I don't know if you caught that, HDMI, so we don't have HDMI hooked up. So, uh, hmm. well, audio, video, TV, menu. Let's try to press menu here. Look at that, that's like on a TV. <laughs> Man, that is some cool stuff. 
bring this back. Why is it now off? Turn it on again. There it's on the menu. PC, yes, PC. How can I select it? No. It's probably easier with the remote, I suppose. Why is that? Is the IBM maybe not sending out a signal? I don't know. Let's try and uh, press some buttons on the IBM. So we have here the function key. Okay. Hey, 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 look at that. Isn't that awesome? So now the monitor is only on the G5 screen or well, LG screen. And well, let's just try to adjust the resolution a bit. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> just move a window over there. Look at that. Now we have native resolution. Sweet. Pretty cool. So we've got 680, 680 by 1050 resolution. And the monitor doesn't have issues. It is honestly spotless. So um, yeah, it is a pretty crisp looking monitor still. I mean, given that this is from what, 2005, you know? Oh, well, that's a pretty screwed up resolution there. Um, but don't worry about that. Honestly, guys, uh, this is still a pretty good looking monitor to me. So um, definitely nice and much, much better than the one that um, I put in the G5 housing. So can't wait to get that out. So yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Unfortunately, I'm just lacking time today. I would love to continue right away, but that was a pretty um, uh, spontaneous decision for me to do this. So, uh, because that control board arrived today and I just couldn't wait and just installed, and just wanted to see it. So yeah, anyway, see you in the next uh, clip when we reinstall this monitor in the housing and Maybe leave it at that. I don't know yet, so stay tuned. Okay, my, it's, it's a couple of hours later and my mission for now is to try to remove that monitor and put it in the trash and then test fit and maybe reinstall this original monitor. I mean, the screw holes are here, the frame is here. It should just pop right back in, so. Yeah, now all I have to do is remove the stupid hot glue. Guys, as stupid and as unprofessional this was, it holds pretty darn well. I mean, I didn't handle this cautiously the past months and it, like, it is so solid. I never expected that, so. Hey guys, ever wondered how tough such a monitor connector is? Well, let's see. Whoa, ho, okay. Wow. <laughs> Actually, I expected this to shatter, but damn, HP, I gotta give you that. You, you did a great connector because compared to those things, those rip by the force of, I don't know, an ant, but here you can do it like this, so no big deal. It still looks like it's fine. <laughs> Man, didn't expect that. Okay, update, guys. Uh, we get the monitor out and I cut myself, but that's not that bad, beside the point. Uh, and it went rather well. Although I think I made a pretty deep scratch here somewhere, but since it's the inside, it doesn't matter, guys. Anyway, what would be a good idea is to clean it right now, but I figured, you know what, it's only the inside. I know it's not, you're not supposed to do it like this, but, but I will now, before I attempt on cleaning stuff, even though look at all this, all this like fly shit here, uh, I will try and see if, uh, 
it lines up the way I want and maybe I'll take it back out, but you know, probably not. You, you know how it goes. You like a glove? Well, obviously it was designed for it, but still, um, I can use some screws I have laying around, making it secure and then see how we will do the these things i don't know how you call them okay guys we got it mounted you know just the stock mounting it works as it should and um i also now uh know that it needs four amps of power output so uh yeah uh, these things aren't gonna cut it this has 1.5 amps this one not even an amp but obviously such a big LCD is gonna need more than that little phone charger thing, so. <laughs> oh no. So unfortunately guys, uh, just the way it goes sometimes with those projects, um, all of my power supplies are, are too weak. They were mostly taken from laptops and you know, they are just not powerful enough to uh, power this big LCD panel. So I have to for now, keep using my test um, power supply because this one as you can see there is set to 19 volts has 4.74 amps of output so um, this is perfect and not stressed and yeah so maybe you know maybe I'll just get myself a different one at one point in the future but you know funny enough there is one which had almost the 4 amps but had, of course it had a different plug so <laughs> it's just always the same with these things <laughs> okay folks well look at that i'm a lucky son of a bitch huh this can be laid in there no problem at all why am i not doing this externally as i said well look at that this is not modular and so i have to keep this inside and there's no way to route you know this whole bulge through this little hole and so I will just leave it in there and only um, route this cable through the back. So that's gonna make it look even better. Also for now, it has to be a HDMI monitor only just because we have no ability to route this thick VGA cable through this. And I don't wanna you know, destroy this just for the VGA cable. So we're gonna be modern here and only live with HDMI, which is not bad. So anyway, um, since we got this cool remote, where is it here? Uh, I don't have to worry about this. It's gonna power on by itself once it receives power and a signal. So uh, I would not even need this remote, but still cool, you know, to change the channels if I desire to do so. But right now, you know, it's only HDMI. So damn guys, this is probably one of my favorite projects in the long time because it just turned out so well. I might just put that over there though. It, it, it doesn't crash into the circuit board. But let me do that and finish the project. Oh man, it's finally closed. Now that was a really tight fit because it ended up cramming all the components in this area because there's this mechanism which uh, I was already having troubles with with the original project. And uh, now it's all here, but it's closed up. And look at that. We got those two cords hanging out. That's that's pretty good. We created ourselves our own cinema display because they also have it this way. So yeah, let's see how it looks. Yes, look at that. Can you imagine that they, we really reassembled this iMac? Or now it's only a monitor, I suppose. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, we did it! So folks, here we are. That's what you wanted to see, right? Windows 10 running on an iMac G5. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, in fact, we did it. We converted it to a monitor. And it's working brilliantly. Um, <laughs> really, really cool. However, I, I do have one question, which just really doesn't go in my head why that is. And that is the case that this monitor, when it shipped, I just looked it up, should have had a resolution of 1650 by 
something. But Windows recognizes it as a 1080p monitor, as you can see, 1920 by 1080. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? I mean, we can set the resolution, maybe that controller now, you know, allows us that resolution, I don't know. <laughs> But if I set it to uh, that, that's what it was, 1680 by 1050, then we have those two bars. And also it doesn't look as sharp. If we go on down, same story. It's not really all that sharp. I don't know. It, it, that makes no sense to me, really. It makes the, the monitor worse. But if I jump to... 1920 by 1920 by 1080. I don't know, guys. Did we just did we just build ourselves our like 1080p iMac? I don't I don't know. It really makes no sense to me. Now what I what I figured out is that the, as I said, it isn't as sharp and good looking as it was on the resolution in Linux. So I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. Also, it looks kind of a little bit squished. You know what I mean? It's it's not not a hundred percent perfect. It just doesn't look right. That's what I'm trying to say here. So that really that really makes it from a massive success to only a success, I suppose. If you look here, the no signal is pretty sharp and good looking as, you know, it was before. So, uh, what is Windows up to here? I don't know, guys. And here we are now in Linux. And this is how it should be. Look at it. It looks pretty good, pretty crisp, pretty sharp and not squished. And we got its resolution of 680 by 1050. Um, so, uh, I really don't know what's going on with this monitor in Windows, but, um, I just played around here a little bit and I don't know guys, it, it, it just works on Linux, but not on Windows. Look at that. Look how crisp it is. This is a good looking monitor still. So this is not the same compared to it, how it was on Windows. It really is not. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, mates. I don't know. What I know, though, is that this was a success. Uh, I converted this into a monitor. It is an HDMI monitor, even with its remote. And it works. You can switch between channels, although it doesn't really doesn't help you anything because it's all on the inside and yeah so if you weren't a super amazing hacker which i am not you could maybe convert those um those ports into hdmi vga and whatever and the power button as the power button that's something i could achieve really that's not that big of a deal but i could literally just pull the existing button and um re like relocate a jump wire from this so that is something i could do but uh yeah i'm still debating guys whether i should i should leave it at that because this is a success i mean look at it it's pretty good um or should i make it into a mac which is really complicated and i have really no idea how i will how i would do that with the with the Mac safe, you know. Also, I would buy another Mac, which uh, is expensive. <laughs> or I could just, you know, put in here a PC. I don't know. I don't know. Do I have the space in here? I highly doubt it. <laughs> anyway, uh, the power solution should be, though, something to tackle with the PC. With that said, this is it. Final product, iMac G5 monitor. <laughs> I like it. It turned out really good. Thanks for watching, folks, and see you later then.